Hello and welcome back to our ForProt tutorials. This time we will teach you how to create animations. This function is available in blocks such as cars, planes, boats, and people. Let's create animations on the following objects. This farmer, this truck, and this tractor. To create animations, click on the block you are going to animate. You'll be able to see all the animation options and the properties located on the right side of the screen. Add key allows you to add the animation points. Meaning, the selected block will follow the points that have been placed on the stage, from the first to the last, and in the form of a circuit or loop. Play and stop commands start or stop the animation. Speed allows you to modify the speed of the animation. Visible or hidden allows animation keys to appear hidden or visible. Let's look at an example. Let's start with this farmer. Let's create an animation for him to go from this point to this other point. The first thing you should do is locate the block at the point where you want the process to start. Then press Add key on the properties. You will see that the first animation key appears. Then move the block to the second point, where you want the animation to be directed and repeat the process by adding a second animation key. Now turn up the speed and press play. You will notice that the object is directed to the first key of animation and then goes to the second. Note that the animation is in loop or circuit mode. Now if you so please, you can modify the path of the block. Simply click on the animation key and modify its location. The block will continue its journey looking for the final position of the key. When you are done, press the hidden option to hide the animation keys. Let's look at another example. Let's animate the truck. Only this time we're going to use the move to a point tool. Our truck is already located in the position where we want the tour to start. We click on the block while making sure we have the move option turned on and then click on add key. There is already the first animation point. We could move the block with the move option, but since the distance to be moved is very wide on the stage we will rely on the option. Move to a point. Make sure the block you are animating is selected. Now click on this property. You will see that color change indicating that it is activated. Then click on the stage at the second point you want to move the block to. Our tab has already moved. Since we are animating, we must press Add key to add a new animation key. Then repeat this process according to the design of the prototype we are creating. Add as many animation keys as you need and remember that the animation is in circuit or loop mode. In order to do so, you will need to place the last animation key so that it matches on a clean path to the first animation key you placed. In this example, if we placed our last key in this place, the truck would cross this entire area looking for the first key. Therefore, our last animation key was in this position. Now we press play to check if our animation path is well created. Remember that if you need to correct any animation key just click on it and move it to the point you need. Last but not least, we will click on our animated tab to activate the properties and press the hidden option to hide the keys. Now let's go with the tractor. Notice how easy it is to create the animation. If you want to delete an animation key you must select the tab and delete it from the animation properties in the red X. It can be deleted in descending order. Now you know how to create animations in Forprot. We leave you a challenge. Create an airstrip, some mountains, and then place a plane. Create an animation and you have the plane back to the mountain as you are seeing on screen. We are waiting for you in the next video tutorial.